Hey, what's up guys? Tony here and check this out. Listen, do you hear what that is? That's a pop tart. And as soon as I'm done with this commentary, I'm rewarding myself with a strawberry pop tart. And I have been, been playing Black Ops today. I've actually been playing Battlefield in uh, on the PS or PS3, Battlefield on the 360 with uh, OG Walrus. And I was playing a little Road to the Show earlier. And so that's going to bring me to the topic of this commentary. And that is Road to the Show. And right now, this is uh, Chester Anderson. It's the picture that I have. That I think this is like the third episode I'm doing with him. And I got thinking about this today. I wasn't in the shower, but it was. Uh, it was just actually while I was um, playing Scott McLean. And one, <clears throat> excuse me, one thing that made Scott McLean really easy was that I wasn't showing everything. I was just sort of showing whatever the heck I want to record. I'd, I'd throw a gameplay together, and then I'd commentate it. And that was very very easy to do now what I want to do or actually what I what I'm thinking about and I want to run this by you guys because I got, I got a message yesterday asking if my characters were close to getting to the show and sadly no they're not they're actually this is these episodes have put me about at most three weeks into their very first season and basically what my uh, workflow is, I guess if you want to call it that, is that I jump on, I record a couple of games with each character, and, and then I get off. And then I don't play again until I feel up to making another uh, Road to the Show video with these characters. So then I got thinking about it, because my initial goal was this. I wanted to show you guys how I level up these characters and, and how, about how I go about um, getting these characters to the show. And I figured the best way to do it was sort of like a Road to the Commander series where you show every single game, no matter how good, no matter how bad. Uh, but what I'm noticing is that with these characters, it's going to take literally forever. I bet you I probably couldn't get these characters to the show by the time MLB 12 comes out, which it'll come out about March of next year. I probably won't get these guys to the show because that's how long it's taking me to play these characters. So... I'm thinking about doing this, and I want to run it by you guys first because I want to know what you think and, and what your opinions are on this. And what I want to do is I just want to record one, at least one series per um, advancement goals. Usually run about two to three weeks, sometimes four weeks. And I just want to run, and all, what I'll do is I'll collect up all the points until towards the end of the series or until the end of that advancement goal period. And then I'll go ahead and do all the advancement goals at once. Because right now I'm just sort of putting points in as I play the game. Which is typically how I do it. But because it's taking so long, I figured I might have to skip some games and show you guys a series for from some time. Well, it would be towards the end of the advancement goals, like I said. And uh, at least that last series. So what do you guys think? Do you guys want to keep seeing these like every game? Pitching is going to be a lot easier once I get to a starting rotation because it'll only be one uh, start every five games. So you're going to get probably 30 starts in a season. So I could show you know, one start per episode. But for the hitters, you're playing pretty close to, you know, in the minor leagues, probably, I don't know, 100 plus games. And if I play three games in a series or maybe even two games out of a four-game series or whatever, that's still a lot of games. And that, it'll take me a very long time, especially when I split time with Scott McLean, who's in his you know second full big league season. So uh, I don't know exactly how to tackle this, so I figured that would be the best way to do it, would be to just show you guys one series out of the advancement goal period and help you guys with with you guys who want to know how to level up your characters and how about going about playing this game that I can give you guys the advice I can show you how I'm doing it while still making this a much faster process cuz I mean I think right now this guy Chester Anderson by the end of this episode he's only got like 12 innings pitched so that's not a lot of time put into these characters, not as much as I really wanted to put into these characters. So let me go. Let me know what you guys think, and I will act accordingly to how the group goes about doing business or how they want me to go about doing my business, I guess, if that makes any sense. So anyways, that's going to be a strike. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, okay, so that was one part. 
here's the other part, and this is not baseball related at all. Well, actually, no, I'll do the baseball related part. That way, I don't do like this baseball sandwich that I was about to do. Um, this Sunday, we have a doubleheader in my league. Because last week we had a rain out. It actually rained out. It wasn't like the time before we had, we had like a sprinkler rain out. I swear. And some of these guys just don't chase pitches. Like that's a really close pitch. I don't know how he let it go by. Um, even with a 2-1 count, that's a pretty good pitch. Uh, well, maybe not. Unless he's not on the – he's like – sometimes I go on a no curveball diet. So maybe that's what he was doing. Whatever. So, anyways – um. This, this actually game right here, I know I'm totally going off on a tangent right now, but this game right here put a lot of confidence in my pitcher. I was able to get in and get out and not get my ass kicked like I had been the last couple of uh, outings. So anyways, back to what I was saying. Um, oh, so we got a doubleheader this Sunday, and I love doubleheaders. I really do. It's more baseball in a day. You know, you get yourself, oh, I don't know, seven, six to eight at-bats guaranteed. That's pretty much I mean, you get three at-bats per game. Four usually is on average. So I'll get about eight at-bats on the Sunday. And what's good about that is because we've had a couple weeks off, it gets me back into the groove of it. The first couple at-bats might be kind of pathetic, <laughs> um, which would, which sucks because I left the last game just feeling so confident about myself. You know, like I said, I went two for four with a double and a triple. And the last at-bat I had, I hit that one hopper to the wall triple. And uh, to end the game on, on like that it is such a confidence booster. It's uh, it's amazing. So I really, because of school, this summer school so far this week, I haven't had a chance to go through and um, hit wiffle balls with my brother like I had the week before that. And maybe I'll be able to hit wiffle balls like during the game, uh, before the game. We usually do a little BP before the game, so I'll just probably have to hit wiffle balls then. Um, I guess I could take my tee out and just start start hitting off the tee. Uh, it's just not the same. There's something nice about hitting, you know, I don't want to call it live pitching just because it, it's wiffle balls. But um, having something thrown at in your direction and, and making contact with the whole hand and eye coordination aspect of it is what I like. You know, and hitting off the tee gets a little old after a while. At least with a wiffle ball, you can curve it. You can do some crazy stuff with it. So let me hustle to try to get that double play. Players slow. <clears throat> so, anyways, yeah, we got that double header, and the reason why I like that because it allows you to get back into the groove of things. Like last season, we had a couple double headers, and the last game of our season was actually a double header. And I had taken a couple of weeks off uh, <clears throat> for personal reasons, and basically when I got back there, my first like I don't know three at bats were just terrible, terrible, and then the last three I started to feel very comfortable to play it again. So it's, it's sort of that thing where, you know, you knock off the rust, even though it's only a couple weeks for the rust. You knock the rust off, and then you find that comfort zone back, you know, like you did, like you had before you went on that break. So basically, that's what I'm going to be doing, hopefully. I want to get more hits. Uh, I would like to, you know, make this, uh, <laughs> you know, nobody... Nobody wants to go up there and strike out, but I want what I want to do is I want to make this a consistent thing. I want to go out there and play well, and I, I've played now with this team so consistently that uh, I should be a lot more confident up at the plate. You know, when you when you're with a new team, there's this uh, you have these aspirations to want to play well for them. You want them to know that they made a good choice by selecting you for their team. So <clears throat> on a certain level, you. Um, you press a little bit, and that goes with anything. That'll go with video games. That'll go with um, any sort of sports or any sort of organization where you're the new guy on the team. And I'm not necessarily the new guy on my team. I've been playing these guys for years now, but I've taken some breaks. You know, I played on a couple other teams. I've come back, and um, I want to make sure I reestablish that. Yeah, I'm a good player. You know, and um, the last couple seasons. Last season, I didn't have that great of a, a season at the dish, but the season before that, I had a really good uh, season batting. Uh, fielding was a little shaky just because it, sometimes it, it's that way. You just have a bad off season. This season, my fielding's actually pretty good. My pitching's been pretty strong. Um, I'm looking actually to be starting. Uh, I was supposed to start last weekend on the hill. Uh, I we've got like I said, we got the double header, so I don't know if I'm start the first game or the second game. Uh, I think I might prefer to start the first game. We're playing at Ranch Buena Vista, and that's the high school that I showed the in real life video at, and I like that mound. Um, 
but I have pitched on the mound in Oceanside High School, which I like that one too. So either way, it doesn't matter to me. Um, I think after one whole game, I just might be a little bit tired and I might lose my command quicker. So I think that's pretty much why I would prefer to, to uh, actually pitch in the first game. Oh, that's quite a liberal strike zone right there, huh? So we'll see. I'm going to bring my camera as usual. Um, last week, uh, or not last week, the week, well, the last game, I should say, I didn't have anybody... Oh man, just missed that too. Uh, I didn't have anybody to record. Would have been so nice. Oh my gosh, I would have loved to get those videos um, captured. Oh my gosh. So maybe I could get my one of my two brothers to record uh, my at bats from this coming uh, doubleheader weekend. So we'll see what happens. I'd like. I want to do more of the in real life video stuff, and I need to get around to putting together the MLG Anaheim video. I've sort of just been putting it off because of school. Uh, school's been kind of keeping me really busy this week, and I've got a you know paper due on Tuesday, and I got this original poem I'm supposed to write. And I don't know how to write poetry. I like I'm such a literal person that I really I say what I mean, I mean what I say, and so to like come out and try to put together this fluffy metaphor simile field thing, uh, it's gonna be kind of tough. You know, I write like. I don't know, like a story, like I'm telling a story, like a factual and to the point, and this is what's going on. I have a hard time writing in metaphors and um, sort of any uh, imagery. Look at that shortstop making that awesome play for me. That's what that's what you hope for with a as a pitcher. Good solid defense behind you. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow. I don't know what like. I think of my allergies, but man, a couple days back I just started developing another little cough, mysterious cough that'll probably last for weeks again. And so anyways, yeah, I, I've just got a lot of stuff to do with school, and I've been taking little breaks here and there to, to pop on and play some calm, and I got gap, you know, I remember this now, uh, I felt like this was going to be the end. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, yeah, I forgot where I was going with that. Oh, actually, let me transition to this now. I submitted a video to Yaush, um, I'm really hoping that uh, they'll like what they see. Maybe they'll pick me up. I don't know. I, I've never seen any baseball videos, and that's what I submitted. I submitted a baseball video. Because really, I, I mean, if you look at my my views, the videos, the baseball videos that I have get the most views. So it's as if my channel is, even though I consider my, my channel a, look at that, nice play. i uh, got to cover the bag. Go cover the bag, Tony. Uh, oh, he threw it away. Shoot. Um, even though I consider myself a COD channel, I got more views on average from sports videos, so Grand Series of Five and uh, MLB 11, the show. So I guess it means I'm more of a sports channel than anything else. So I'm I'm submitting myself to Yaush as sports director, and I think they're in the works of putting together a sports channel. So we'll see. If I don't know if I'll get picked up or not, um, I, you can only submit one video per week to Yaush. So I submitted it last night, so then a week from now, if I don't hear anything, I'll submit another video, another MLB 11 video, and um, just see if, if they if they pick it up. So anyways, guys, wow, that was a very quick video. I'm actually surprised that it went faster than I thought. Um, I am going to put together a video about aliens. I mean, there's it's Shark Week for everyone here in the States. You guys, if you love the Shark Week, let me know. But on the History Channel, it's Ancient Aliens Week. And they've had a whole bunch of this ancient alien stuff. And I actually want to talk about it at length. Okay, so you see the advancement goals. I've got two out of four. I actually failed my goals because I only got 50% of them done, which sucks because that was like the first advancement goal. So we got four weeks to my next advancement goals are finished. And that's what I was talking about, about putting more time into actually playing this game. So here we go. What am I points to put? 56 points into hitting. And then I need to do, was it home run uh, and bunting? So what do I do? Um... 50 points to the home run and then I'll do 50 points to bunning but um, yeah I want to do that video uh, about dang aliens and just see like you know don't comment on that yet because I really want to get to that video and I kind of spoiled it that I brought it up in the first place but anyways guys I'm gonna put the 50 points into uh, the bunting drill and that's gonna be this video so thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and I'll talk to you later